Hello there. So I'm just home from work and I just wanted to show um, how it looks when I get home with my lights. So I'm down on the back porch here. I just came in. The light in here is just a regular light. But I'll give a little demo of how my lights look. And this is all computer control. So everything is on. So here we are in the kitchen. And my newly installed Hue um, light strips with the much longer lights are installed and I currently have them over both cabinets although I'm gonna be working on what's going on they're just temporarily resting up there the light on the counter here that's also a hue light it's just a white one it's it's activated automatically and uh, over my dining room table it's uh, nice and dim the current setting but that's how it looks um, when I come home but yeah, I kind of dig this uh, cool lighting, sort of a bluey green, and I have it set for a random uh, hue, so the color is random every day, and uh, comes on automatically. So here, if we go into the living room, these lights are on as well. Um, the corner light, which is a white bulb, that's just on. It's kind of a dim setting, and then the lights over my mantle. Um, those are color changing bulbs. It's hard to tell on the phone, but they're sort of this peachy color right now. So they're also random. The color is random, although the saturation is turned down, so they're usually very pastel colored. And then um, the light there, that light is a white bulb that is also com comes on automatically, as does the uh, light next to the TV there. Um, outside the front of the house, uh, my porch light, if I move this, so the porch light there, that's also a hue controlled uh, bulb. It comes on automatically uh, as well. And then into the front bedroom here, those two lights are color changing, but they are just uh, kind of a white color right now, very dim. Those are on automatically. And then uh, this lamp here is also a hue color changing bulb and it's, it's uh, it turns on and the color is random. It's also pastel. It's sort of a greenish color now. It looks a lot less green than it does in the camera. And then if we go through the bathroom here into the other bedroom, this is the guest room. That light, so that's the dining room through there and that light also is hue controlled. And I have a light behind the door there and that is also controlled by the hue. So, uh, all of this stuff happens automatically using cron jobs. And I also have uh, some scripts. Basically, the, the cron job waits for actual sunset. So I don't have to manipulate the time the lights all do their thing. They automatically come on with some randomization uh, before the sun sets or around the time of sunset. So it's totally automated. And in the summer when you know it's daylight until 9 o'clock at night, the lights don't all turn on at you know four in the afternoon or four thirty like they do in the middle of the winter, so it's pretty cool. And I have most of them on pretty dim settings, so it doesn't use up much power because of course LEDs are nice and efficient on the low settings. But um, you know, I basically come home, the lights are on, I don't have to touch anything, and because it's all LED and I don't have a very big house, it really isn't using much electricity up. And it's great when I'm not home, the lights are still running when I'm traveling or whatever. So you know. It basically looks the same if I'm home or not, other than the fact I'm in the house right now versus not being in the house. So yeah, and that's uh, all done with cron jobs. And that's the great thing about this Philips Hue system is the API is open. So it's very easy to, um, you know, write, write simple JSON re you know, requests to make the lights do their thing. So yeah, there we go. So pretty cool and I'm very happy with the modified uh, Philips Hue MOSFET board I made. That was a different video, so now I can drive a lot more LEDs. Uh, they're just like sitting up there, the five meter strip, I'm gonna cut it out and make it all, you know, lit around the edges. And I also, I'm gonna power a separate white strip of LEDs that will go underneath all my counters and will be run off the same little board with the same uh, an extra MOSFET and then basically, um, I'll, the Philips Hue won't control those. I need something else to control those. But uh, yeah, I'm gonna. I'm also gonna do it here. I've already 
run the wires across. There's the, the little thing there. It's, it's just temporarily sitting there, but it's, you know, not the best, but it works. So yeah, and I'll probably get rid of that lamp there once I put the under counter lighting, so I'll have more counter space. But yeah, thanks for watching.